Welcome to the God of War Welcome workout. Welcome to the God of War workout. The God of War workout. God of War. And I sound like Randy Macho Man. Oh yeah, brother. Snap into a Mjolnir. Welcome to the Kratos God of War workout. It's based on the Strong First workout program. There's three specific movements, major muscle groups. We're gonna do squats, and then we're gonna do presses, and we're gonna do pulls. You can use a kettlebell workout, you can use a barbell workout, and you can use a body weight workout. And we'll go into that in a little bit more detail right now. 27 movements, we'll start with squat. Lift up. Slight step back, and we don't want to arch our backs here, so just nice and tight, straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up, okay? Oh, don't do that, don't do that! You come back in, step out of it. Next exercise, now we cover with the front squat, so you do it from here, same, under it, lift up, form stays the same, straight down, straight up. I'm sweating, guys, I haven't done this in a long time. I forget demos get crazy. The last piece of this puzzle was the Zercher squat. For the Zercher squat, you want to just right about here, lift it, slide step back. As this gets heavier, it's gonna hurt your elbows. I really like this exercise. It's great for core stabilization and all that. So you can wrap this thing with like a yoga mat. Down, up. All right, so we're doing a Bulgarian split squat or a Bulgarian squat. Step out slightly, put your foot flat. You're gonna drop in, come on up. You can even extend further if you're more comfortable. Knee touches the floor. Lunges get controversial when you talk to different people on how to do it. I like to do knees over toes lunge. For my knees over toes lunge, I like to take a nice long step back, drive with your knee, hips come forward, all the way down. Full extension, straight, hips straight, and right back up. So one more time, drive. So the first exercise for your kettlebell is a double kettlebell squat. Elbows tight, you're gonna drop in, and then you're gonna go right back up. Moving right along, second exercise. It's gonna be a goblet squat. This has more stability. It's gonna engage your core. Concept's the same, single kettlebell. You're gonna drop in, come right back up. Moving on, we got some more barbell exercises, which is gonna be our bench press. I'm not a fan of flat bench press with a barbell, so I always do it on the incline. If you're comfortable doing a flat barbell, please, by all means, enjoy yourself. Pinkies on the lines, shoulder width. You do a press up, so you do a slight little elbows flare out, up and down. So military press, you know, lift it, turn it, get under it, and then when you press, you can go up, and lift, core stabilized, biceps by your ears. Don't protrude your neck too far forward, just enough. And same way, elbows tight, down, then up. Kettlebells, same, elbows tight, then go up. When you finish the exercise, you want your biceps in line with your ears. You don't want to be in front, puts the load on your back. You don't want to be behind, puts the load on your back and on your shoulders. Whoop, and down. Next exercise is a single kettlebell. Idea is the same, arm used as a balance. Use the right form to get it up. Start light, get the form right, move forward. Same idea, elbow tight. Don't flare your elbow, straight up. Bicep in line with your ear, straight back down. Up, straight back down. Now we have body weight movements for your presses. Uh, this is an inverted handstand or handstand push-up. Find the wall. You can kick into it if you're comfortable. Find the balance, straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up. Next exercise, body weight push-up. Core secure, flat, go up, no dip, straight, down, up, down, up. Last exercise for the body weight movements, I'm sweating. I forgot how much work this is is a single arm push-up. My recommendation for all of this would be work on your push-ups until you can work up to the single hand and the handstand push-ups. So single hand push-up, I don't even know if I could do that. So this is a great way to see 
progression. This is wide, this is up, under, yup, and one. That was very difficult for me to do one, so it's not probably something I'd use to increase my strength. So consider all those things as you go through this. All right, moving on. My hip cramps. Pull exercises are one of my favorites. Uh, and remember guys, push is working your shoulders, chest, triceps. Pull exercises work your back, a little bit of biceps. Pull up, chin up, let's do those first. They're the easiest to do. You wanna go shoulder length, hang. This is strict pull up. You're gonna go all the way up, chin over the bar, bring it all the way down. The other option here is a chin up, changes the positioning of your hands. Dead hang, and go all the way up, all the way down, supine rows. Supine means on your back. Grips the same. Row, back, row, back, back. There's two more left, which is the pendulum row and bent over barbell row. We'll start with the barbell row. <clears throat> barbell row starts from a hanging position. Do a correct form deadlift pickup. Up, slight dip from your knees and up to your belly button. This is a barbell row. A pendulum row, same action, except the bar starts on the floor and goes up to your chest and goes back to the floor. A little lift here, and then from here, you go up, all the way back down. Go up, all the way back down. Double kettlebell row. You can go slightly wider. There's two ways to do this. Double pull up and down. The other way to do this is feet together, straight down. Up, one arm, kettlebell row. Straight out, little brace, hip down, toes straight, hips straight, chin up, pull, turn your belly button, and down. Pull, and down. Here comes the table, take a look at your sessions. So your weekly schedule becomes session A, you go squat, press, pull, which is on Monday, Tuesday, you take a break, do some corrective stretching or swings with the kettlebell. Wednesday is session B. Again, you go back to squat, press, pull. Thursday is a rest day again, corrective stretching, kettlebell swings. Friday, session C, which becomes your squat, press, pull. You see a pattern, right? This is the progression that you get to see. Uh, this will be divided into heavy, light, and medium weights and how to push and pull them. I'll explain that in the description so you can understand and please feel free to ask me questions. Saturday, same, corrective stretching, uh, kettlebell swings, keep your body moving. Sunday is your rest day. For me on my rest day, I like active resting, light runs, light jogs, so try that, see how you feel. We're gonna do something fun as we always do. God of War did just come out. We're gonna run through the first 30 minutes of the game. I will be Kratos. I'll have a shield, I'll have my ax, and we're gonna go through the entire first scene until I fight Thor, I believe. Thor. 